Hi everyone, in this video I show you more updates to the filter views. So we have made some improvement to the filter views in the last release and also making more improvement in this release. In the last release we have added the capability to edit existing filter entries so you don't need to jump to the node to change them and to view them. Now you can view them directly from the filter views and in addition, we made the process a bit smoother and a couple of more things I want to show you today. So first of all, you can just click on the entry. You don't have to hover over it and click on an edit button or something. You can just directly click on the entry and it will not only expand it because you see the text doesn't quite fit into one line and the filter views only show one line just to have more of an overview, but it also expands it to the um, sub points. So any points could be quotes, bullet points, subtasks, which are indented below the main point are also shown. And this already worked in the last version, but now it also works on iOS. You can just tap on an existing entry on iOS. It will pop up editor just similar to this one. Uh, it looks just a little bit different, but it still works the same. Also expands it to the uh, items below it. And this is a full markdown edit on iOS and on Mac. So you can do uh, you can reschedule things from here, for example. You can change the uh, date here also manually by changing the text. You can do, uh, you can add more sub points here. You can add, for example, a bullet point, or you can add a checklist and so on. These are not visible here in the filter views, so you can treat them as real subtasks. So this is a subtask. And if I click away, it will save the point or save it to the node in the background and now you see the nothing changed here really but if I click on it uh, you can see the subtask which was added here um, previously so this is how you can like um, reduce the complexity or uh, make it less look less cluttered in the filter view it gives you a better overview so but you need to click inside the task to see more details so this is the idea of filters in general so and what's new is, as I said, you don't you can click directly on it. You can open the note by clicking on the open note button here, top left, which appears um, when you edit the entry. And this also works on iOS. You just need to tap on open note in the middle of the editor. Um, it looks very similar. And a couple of more points are improved. So first of all, we have changed the filter buttons, or filter user interface to make it a little bit easier. So it takes up a bit more space, but I hope it's easier to understand now. So we have split it into three categories. So one is search, and here you define what you want to search. You want to search for open, uh, done tasks, con cancel tasks, scheduled, or anything that's not a task. Bullet points, plain text, even titles, anything you can also search here. It works similar to the normal search in this case, if you click on this. And then you can define, so we have renamed this uh, keyword field, it's now called search by. So you, and with a placeholder, it can be any text, any hashtag or any mention. For example, I could type in, you can see I have lots of, or I, I have marked lots of tasks with web. This is for the web version. I can type in web here, apply, and now I see only the, the tasks which have the word web in them and uh, filter it this way and like have a view on my calendar filtered by specific projects. For example, if you use hashtags, this can also work very well. Or I tr uh, started uh, the habit of prepending the kind of uh, project before the task. So this is a way you can do this. And path contains, as, as before, you can limit the nodes which are shown to the path, and this will limit the nodes to the regular nodes in this case, because calendar nodes don't have a path. Uh, except when the tasks are scheduled, then there will be also a, a calendar layout shown. So this is a calendar layout at the moment. I will show you also how it looks like with regular nodes. And below it, you can say if you want to see regular nodes in this. These are the general nodes you see here on the left in the sidebar uh, under nodes and you can either turn on or off the regular notes. So if I scroll down, you can see the regular notes also appearing here in this view at the bottom. Maybe it doesn't make much sense in this case because we see the calendar box here. We have data tasks, which are coming from notes, basically scheduled tasks, uh, but we can see them in a calendar layout and not in the uh, grouped by the note name. And also we can 
see the nodes which are inside the calendar nodes directly and events and reminders as well. And the time frame only for the calendar nodes or the data tasks and so on is this month. So it will limit the calendar layout to this month if I scroll up and there are a lot of regular nodes as you see at the bottom. So this is February and these are just February um, days and tasks except the regular nodes at the bottom of course, which don't make much, much sense here in this case, but just wanted to show you. And you can change the sorting. So if you want to see the first uh, day in the list or the last day at the top. So let me show you another filter. So this is this month. Then you can also have upcoming and here I have disabled regular nodes in this case. And now what's uh, useful here. So this is next month. You can also close this again to have some more space. You can see now an, a task button for every day, also empty days. So if the time frame filter is a closed filter, means it's not past or future, you will see also the days uh, which have no tasks added to them yet. And then you can add them directly here, some task. And this works also on iOS, so and it looks the same. And now you have planned a task here in, in advance, so maybe you want to look at the upcoming month and then make your plans here directly instead of jumping from node to node. You can also see the weekly notes here. So this is the weekly note which belongs to this um, month and also the monthly notes. So you can add tasks or edit them directly from the weekly and monthly notes. And if you have planned, for example, a week here, you could also start dragging tasks around. So let's, let me try to do this with this one. So some task. So let's say Sunday is not a good day. Let's do this on Tuesday. And then it will move it for you to the, the calendar node of Tuesday in this case. And you can drag it around as much as you want. Also delete it again. So you just delete the text, click somewhere else, it saves it and the task is deleted. So there's another example. So these are the two other new things uh, for filters. You can you can see empty dates or three things. Actually, you can see empty dates. So you can actually plan in advance properly. Also, you can, uh, we have an add task button. So you can add new tasks directly from this view. You don't have to go to the node and you can do drag and drop to reschedule things. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show you is um, by having a combination of uh, project nodes and calendar layout. So in this case, for example, I have filtered my projects folder in this case, and I want to see regular notes from my project folder and also data tasks. Calendar notes are not really needed in this case, just the data tasks because we already have a path contains. So calendar notes won't be uh, shown in this one, but the data tasks will. So what does it mean? Um, also, let me turn on scheduled so we can see the scheduled tasks here in the project notes. So normally you don't want to see them here or maybe you want, uh, but I want to see them in the calendar, not inside the regular notes. I want to see which tasks are actually scheduled from my project notes into the calendar. And this is what you see here at the top. So in this calendar layout above the regular note layout. So, so here the tasks are grouped by uh, the notes and he, uh, or the regular notes and here they are grouped by the days and weeks and months. And we see all the scheduled tasks in this case, which are in the folder projects. And uh, this is this is how you can see how you have scheduled and how you have planned your project. Here you see, for example, a, a typo, which you can now fix directly from here. You can change the uh, also the week, for example, I can go in here and say it's not week two, it's maybe week four. And click away and change this to calendar week four. So you can get a kind of project overview very quickly with this. And I show you again the filters which I've set up. So I've uh, filtered it by the projects folder. So I don't want to see the scheduled task and I also have anything that's not a task. And that's why you see a checkbox um, option, which looks like a subtask if you look at it because it's indented. So maybe you want to see it, maybe not. So I say I don't want to see it. So I just have the real tasks here in my list now and just the uh, tasks which are still open the time frame of all time because I want to see all the scheduled tasks in this folder. 
So I hope you like this update and hope it's useful. We will make some more improvements in the next update. Um, I hope we, you will like it and the purposes to improve the overall long-term planning or having a better overview over your existing tasks, which are scattered in your notes and calendar notes and make it easier to drag things around, add new tasks to future days and so on without having to jump from note to note. So let me know what your feedback is on this and I hope it will help you in the next update.